Hello students, welcome. Today we are going to discuss about ordering of numbers. Ordering of numbers means arranging numbers in the order of their size. That is from smallest number to largest number. Okay, let's go. Let's take two numbers. Okay, can you read these numbers with me? Please read this number with me. Okay, 5000. 438. Okay. 6347. Okay. Then we have to compare these two numbers and find which number is smallest. Okay. How can we find which number is smallest? Okay. Let's see. We have to compare first the numbers in the Thousands place. Okay. What are the numbers in thousands place? Look at here. This is thousands place. So, what are the numbers below this thousands place? 5 and 6. Is it? Okay. Which number is less between 5 and 6? Which number is less? Okay. We know 5 is less than 6. Is it? So, this number is less than this number. How can we write this? 5438 is less than 6347. Is it? Okay. Let's take another set of numbers. See here. We have three numbers. Read this number with me. Okay. 1673. 1764. 1378. Okay. Then we have to compare these numbers and find which number is smallest and arrange these numbers in the order of their size. That is from smallest to largest. Okay. Let's see. So what we will do first. First we have to check the numbers in thousands place. Okay. Where is the thousands place? Here. Is it? So what are the numbers below thousands place? Here it is 1 and here it is also 1 and here it is also 1. Then what we will do? All these numbers are same. So, what we will do? We have to move next place. What is the next place? Next place is hundreds place. Is it? So, we have to compare numbers below hundreds place. What are the numbers below hundreds place? It's 6 here, 7 here and 3 here. In between 6, 7 and 3, which number is smallest? Can you say with me? Which number is smaller? We know 3 is smaller than both 6 and 7. Is it? Okay. Then what can we write? 1378 is smallest number among these. Okay. We can write 1000. 378. Okay. Less than. Okay. Then we completed this number and we can remove this number from here. Then remaining two numbers. Again we have to compare the hundreds place. What are the numbers in hundreds place now? Here we have 6 and here we have 7. So which number is less in between 6 and 7? Which number is smaller? We know 6 is smaller. So, this number 1673 is less than 1764. Okay. Then we can write it here. 1673. 73 is less than 1764. So we get the order. Okay. 
Now let's take another set of numbers. Look at here. We can read this number. Okay? Read with me. 1067. 1176. 1063. 1075. Okay? Then we have to arrange these numbers from smallest to largest. So we have to find first which number is smallest. Okay? Let's find. First what we will do? First we have to check the thousands place. Okay. What are the numbers below thousands place? Here it is 1. Here it is again 1. Here it is again 1. Here it is again 1. So what we will do? All the numbers are same. So we cannot compare those numbers. So what we will do? We will move to next place. What is the next place? Next place is hundreds. Is it? Next place is hundreds. So what are the numbers below hundreds? Here it is 0. Here it is 1. Here it is again 0. Here it is again 0. Okay. Here these three numbers. Which numbers? These three numbers have 0 in their hundreds place. Is it? And this number have 1 in hundreds place. In between 0 and 1. Which number is less? Of course. 0 is less than 1. Okay. So, these three numbers will be less than this number. Is it? Is it okay? Okay. Then, let's compare between these three numbers. So, here this number will be the largest. Why? Because this number have 1 in hundreds place and all the other numbers have 0 in their hundreds place. So, we can just remove this number from here and write here. 1176. Now look, which are the numbers left? 1067, 1063, 1075. Then, we know here in hundreds place also these numbers have same value. So, what we will do next? We have to move next place. What is the next place? It is tens place. Is it? What are the numbers below tens place? Here it is 6. Here it is again 6. And here it is 7. Which number is smaller and which number is largest? We know 7 is larger than this 6. Okay? So, what we will do? This number will be greater than these two numbers. So, we remove this number and we write it here. 1075. Again look at here. What are the numbers left? 1067. 1063. Again, we know in tenth place these two numbers have same value. Then what we will do? We have to move Next place. What is the next place? It is ones place. Is it? In ones place, what are the numbers? Here it is 7 and here it is 3. In between 7 and 3, which number is smaller? We know 3 is smaller. Is it? So, we have to write this number is smaller than this number. So, we have to write like 1,000 63 is less than 1067 is less than 1075 is less than 1176. Now we got the ordering. Okay? Get it? So we used some methods to compare numbers. Is it? We can write these methods as rules just okay let's see what we did first we compare thousands digits and find the smallest is it we just compare thousands digits and find the smallest number first then second one 
if the thousands digits are same, if the thousands digits are same, then what we will do? We did compare hundreds digit and find the smallest one. Is it? Then next one. If hundreds digits are same, then what we will do? We will compare tens digits and find the smallest. Is it? Then if Again, tens digits are same. Then what we will do? We will compare ones digit and find the smallest. Is it? Okay. These are the rules we used to compare numbers and find the smallest one. Okay. Before we start ordering, we have to see some symbols. Okay. These are the Two important symbols in ordering. Okay. What are the symbols? First one is less than. And this one is greater than. Okay. You have already studied these symbols in third standard. But we are again using these symbols here. So this symbol is again less than. Okay. And this symbol is greater than. Okay. Then we can take an example. Here you can see four numbers. Okay. First take these two pairs. What are the numbers? 3 and 8. Is it? Which number is smaller and which number is greater? Can you say with me? This 3 is less than this 8. Is it? This 3 is smaller number and this 8 is greater number. So what we will write? This 3 is less than, less than this 8. So, what is the symbol of less than? This one, is it? So, we put that symbol here. 3 is less than 8, okay? Then, next pair, what are the numbers? 5 and 2, is it? 5 and 2. In between 5 and 2, which number is smaller? Can you say which number is smaller? We know 2 is smaller than 5. Or we can say 5 is greater than 2. Okay? 5 is greater than 2. What is the symbol of greater than? We know the symbol of greater than is here. Okay? Here. So 5 is greater than 2. Okay? 5 is greater than 2. Then you can take another some numbers. So here another numbers. What are the numbers? 48 and 56. In between 48 and 56. Which number is smaller? We know 48 is less than 56. That is 48 is smaller than 56. Okay. Then we can write 48 is less than, which is the symbol of less than, this one, is it? Less than 56. Then next number, 80 and 30. Which number is greater and which, which number is less? We know 80 is greater than 30. What is the symbol of greater than? Here, this is the symbol of greater than. So 80 is greater than 30. Okay. If you have any difficulty to remember these symbols, look at here. Okay. What is this symbol? This symbol is less than. Is it? This symbol is less than. If it is less than or greater than, we have to always look that this open part, this open part here, here it is open part. Is it? So, this open part is always towards larger number. Okay. This open part is always towards larger number. And this closed part, here is the closed part. Is it? This closed part is always facing towards smaller number. Okay. This closed part is always facing towards small number. Here it is also. This symbol is greater than. Is it? But here also this open part, this open part 
here it is the open part this open part is always facing towards larger number and this closed part is always facing towards smaller number is it okay clear okay now let's take some three digit numbers okay read this with me what is this 546 here 460 okay which number is smaller and which number is greater how can we find first look at the first digit what are the first digit here it is 5 and here it is 4 okay which is smaller and which is greater we know 4 is smaller and 5 is greater so what the symbols we use here what is the symbol we use here 5 is greater than 4 is it so 546 is greater than 460 okay is it clear okay then look at the next numbers here it is 560 and here it is 570 okay we have to find which number is smaller and which one is larger what we will do we have to look at the first digit okay what are the first digit here it is 5 is the first digit and here it is again 5 is the first digit so which one is larger we cannot say which one is larger because this is these are the same digit so what we will do we have to move next place what is the next place here it is 6 and here it is 7 okay this is tens place is it this is tens place so in tens place here it is 6 and here it is 7 so which one is smaller and which one is larger we know 6 is smaller than 7 is it 6 is smaller than 7 so what we will write 5 6 g is less than 5 70 Okay, is it clear? Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.